Hi guys, I've had a couple of comments uh, from people about making an alternate um, anvil hold down other than the one that uh, I made before that goes through the hardy hole and you put your foot on on the floor. Um, for some reasons um, there's things in the way, um, the anvil blocks in the way or whatever. So I'm going to have a go at making one of these spring type ones. I'm using this bit of three quarter round. Um, I'm going to flatten the end here. Uh, and that's where we're going to start. Right, got it nice and hot. And we're going to flatten out the end, coming back a reasonable way. Because these things rely on um, like a bit of springy, springiness in them. It's not just the bar shape. It is the fact that the bar is springy that holds it there. So we, we need to get it thin enough. You can see it's coming down. But we need to get it thin enough so that there will be a bit of spring in it. When you tap it in back down into the hardy hole, it's the spring in it that holds it there. Uh, and the friction in, in the hardy hole. So it's coming down. We'll probably want to go a bit further back. But this, the very end, is going to be like the heel, um, where it's actually going to sit on the material. That's the bit we're going to bend round first. All right. So we're going to just bend this very end. This is, as usual, yeah, not a lot, just starting it. It needs to be fairly thin at the, the end. Well, it doesn't need to be, but I've made it fairly thin at the end there. Um, and then we'll curl it round. But it's the same old story. Not made one of these before. Um, looked it up on the internet. And I'm having a go. So I'm not sure whether I've got it thin enough there. I probably want to come a bit further back, but I'm going to give it a go at that, see how it works out. Right, we're going to start forming the heel, or more of the heel. So I don't really know what I'm up to, so. That, I think, is probably too much. I'm sort of eyeing this as I go, because uh, I've not, as I say, I've not done one before. And it's one of those things you just sort of seem to know when it's about right. And that's sort of getting there. And that looks much better. Yeah, I think I'm quite pleased with that shape. Right, we're going to bend it round. I'm just going to cool that out a bit more. So I can hit it without damage. I'm just going to bring it round. As I say, I don't really know what I'm up to, but I've got, a, got this sort of picture in my mind of what I want. And uh, it's one of those things I'll know it when I see it, and we're getting there. That's, that's coming round. So you can imagine when that's in the hole. But I think that wants to be a bit hotter further up and bring it round from further up. I'm going to have to cool it out because it's getting a bit warm. So we can get it, dunk it in the, the Bosch. That's better. Get it warm again, put it round a bit further up. I don't think there's any real secret to this. Um, they might need tickling about for your own anvil. I think a lot of it depends on the depth of your 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 hardy hole. Alright, so we've got the gloves on now so I can hold it because it's getting a bit warm. And pull it around a bit more. I wanted it a bit longer, 
and that's that's coming up much better now. So once that's uh, in the hole, um, it should be sort of fairly high. Right, I could pull it around with this, but unfortunately the gap between the, the horns is too small, so I can't. So I've got to put it around on the anvil. But if you got one of those that's got a fairly big gap, you could do that instead of all this hammering. And that's looking better now. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm really quite, yeah, I like that. That's sort of the shape I'm looking for. I think it could have possibly been a little bit thinner up the top. We might not have quite as much spring as I need. But we'll, I'm not going to unfold it and do it again. So we'll try it as it is and see what happens. Right, so I've cut it down to, it's just sticking through the bottom of the hardy hole. Um, and now I'm just going to put a flat on the end. You don't have to, but I just think it might stop it from spinning around when it's in the hole. Because that should rest up against the the edge of the hardy hole and stop it from, from sort of twisting. See there how much it's coming through. It's just sticking through at the bottom, about half an inch, three quarters of an inch or so. I think that wants to be a little bit higher up. So I'll just bring it back a little bit more to the flat. And so that's I don't think that's essential, but that's what I want to do. So we'll call that out. And see what it can do. Now I did do what I did with the other one. Well not the other one on my other video. See that hasn't got it, but that's got it. You can see where it went down, that's got nice and tight. And so I did what with this what I did with my folding knife by heating it to yellow, or just over yellow, sort of orange, and quenching that bit out, and that's got that lovely and firm. And that quenching in cold water gives it yeah, look at that, rock solid. Tap it and it's free. Yeah, the quenching gives it a bit of spring, but I still think it probably could have been a bit thinner at the top to give it even more spring. Just up here, bring it a bit thinner. But there you go. It works. I think it's going to be quite a useful little tool for me. This is where the spring is at the moment, and it could have been a bit further up. Let's so, say. Seems to work. It's got it. Look at that. Rock solid. Do all sorts with that. I think that's going to be a useful little tool. So there you go. Not rocket science. But uh, give it a go. See how you get on. Thanks for watching.